Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today let's talk about the floating head issue in Unreal Engine 5.6. If you create a facial mocap animation with live link from a video source or just from an audio file, you'll get an animation sequence that includes head movement. If you assign the animation sequence to your metahuman face mesh, the head is instantly detached from the body. That's because the head movement is controlled by the head and neck bones, which are part of both skeletal meshes, the body and the face mesh. So you need to assign the same animation also to the body and the head will be attached correctly. And the whole body is wiggling. So that's not usable. And what if you want to add a separate animation to the body? Maybe an idle or a walk animation? In that case we need to add the head motion additively to the idle animation on the body component. The face component should only control the facial animation itself. So put this away for a moment and add a walk cycle animation to the body. Ok, if we now bring the face animation back in, the head is detached again. Because the body and the face both try to control the head and neck bones at the same time. That doesn't work with the IK rig and leads to the floating head. So let's fix the IK problem first. Go to your metahumans folder, then to common, then face and Open the APB face post process blueprint. Double click on the anim graph to open it up. Find the node called Enable Head Movement IK. This enables or disables the secondary IK influence from the face mesh. If we simply uncheck it in the details panel, this would affect the IK head movement globally. We want to be able to do it individually for any metahuman, so just enable Expose to Cinematics, Compile and Save. Select your face component and click the plus button. Add the APB face post process instance, click the plus button again and add Enable Head Movement IK. Then turn it off. Now the head is attached correctly, but we lost the head movement. Let's bring that back and add it to the walk animation. To do that, bring a second instance of your metahuman into the timeline. Add the facial animation to the body. Then right click on the body and choose Bake to Control Rig. Select the metahuman control rig. Also bake the walk animation to the metahuman control rig. Hit the plus button and add an additive control rig. Now copy the rotation keyframes of the head bone, the neck one bone and the neck two bone from the second metahuman instance into the additive control rig of the main instance. This adds the head movement on top of the walk animation. Now we've got a walk animation including the head movement of the facial animation and a talking face mesh perfectly attached to the body. If you want, you can bake the two control rigs back to an animation sequence you can use even in runtime. No more floating head. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and it was helpful. Leave a comment if you want more tutorials like this. Cheers!